Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of the Smith London Coffee YouTube channel. This channel basically guys looks at um, everything to do with coffee from London. So this week we are looking at Kiss the Hippo. Nothing to do with my hippo by the way. So without further ado we're going to do a cupping and a world review and um, yes stay tuned guys. All right, so here we have 12 grams of Kiss the Hippo George Street blend. And what I've done is I've ground it in the hand grinder. And the reason I use the hand grinder is because it's easier to control the, um, the consistency of the grounds with a hand grinder, as opposed to a really expensive uh, electrical one, which to be honest, I can't afford. Also, um, the electrical grinder I do have uh, sort of just a single blade thing, uh, so it'll sort of whiz out the beans. If you press it for like a second too long, it will way over, way over, whiz up your beans. So none of that. Stick with the trusted hand grinder. It does take a bit longer, but you know, everything worth it takes a bit longer. <coughs> Apologies for the cringy sayings, but now what we're going to do? It's been brewing for about four minutes, and I'm just going to take the crust off. A little crust has appeared. I'm just going to take a very small sip. Now, yes, let's go into the uh, George Street blend. Oh, now the acidity hits you right away. That's a Very interesting one. Not boring at all. Um, some coffees do take a while, sort of, when you drink them, to get to get the flavours through. Or it can take a few cuppings for me to really pick up what I'm getting. But this, no, this is uh, this is what it it is what it is. Oh. That's amazing. So rich. It's full of strange to describe a coffee like this, but it's almost like it's full. It would probably go well with milk, this one. Oh, that's delicious. So it's a medium range and uh, brewed, I can see it here, it's, uh, brewed in Peru. Oh, 50% Peru, 50% Colombia. Oh, that's interesting. There's a uh, no, kiss the hippo of uh, supplied me with a little information on the back, which you would get to if you bought them. So it's got notes, you can see it there. It's got tasting notes of chocolate, berries, and butterscotch. Now, not slagging them off, but I can't get that at the minute. I think what that may be as well, guys, that um, there are quite a few factors that come into tasting as I do more and more of it. It's quite interesting how many variants you can have just person to person. So on this channel, I'm not gonna say whether I like a coffee or don't like a coffee, it's not relevant. I like them all, to be honest, but however you like coffee is right. If you like drinking it black, drink it black. If you like it with milk and sugar, drink it with milk and sugar. So however you like coffee, London has it to supply it. So um, a bit about Kiss the Hippo. They're well known within the industry because they've won, their baristas have won loads of awards and their coffee shop is immense. I know their coffee shop in Richmond. And it's quite funny as well. You can tell where this has been brewed. And uh, this was brewed in George Street uh, in Richmond. So, like, visit. If you're going to make a day out of it, you know, if you're going to Richmond, go there, get a coffee, go up Richmond Hill, go to the park. Like, it's so good. With, with next week's video, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to go to the shop and, uh, have a look round um, and to review a coffee um, 
probably near Richmond Park. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, in, in conclusion to the um, cupping, um, acidity is amazing here. Um, again, I'm not sure which individual flavours I'm getting, but I might have to, I think that'll be more, it'll be easier to tell flavours next week when I've got the light, medium and dark. Not to compare them, just to pick up, just to show you their differences really. Yeah, and now let's move on to a real world review. Two minutes guys. Hi there guys. So I've just brewed the coffee in a cafetiere slash French press, whichever one you prefer. Um, so I've got a black coffee here at the moment. I'll just give it a quick try and uh, see if I can pick up any particular tasting notes. Mm. I think I've made a good judgment here, just in my opinion. But um, see, milk is needed here, definitely. So I'm going to put in a little bit of milk. Without the milk, I'm getting acidity and it just needs something just to finish it off for the mouthfeel. Put in a little bit of milk, give that a go, and I'll put in a little bit of sugar as well. A few drips, very sorry. I clean the table, so you know, I'm not sorry. But here we go. Oh. I'll try and use roughly the same amount for each French press. That is lovely. So, yeah, all in all, with milk, very nice. Very nice indeed. I'll just spray in a bit of sugar and uh, we'll see what we get from that as well. So, just put in some sugar. Just give me a little whirl. So, I've had a few suggestions since my last video and what people don't understand really is um, why I'm choosing a light, medium and dark and sort of comparing them. What I'm trying to do is just show you sort of all the variation the coffee shop that I'm looking at has to offer. So like Mama last month, I looked at a light, medium and dark depending on your preference really. And going on from that, what we, what I'm going to start doing in the coming weeks with different coffee shops is doing the light um the light one brewed in one particular way the medium brewed in a french press and then the darkest roast they have or the one they recommend it for doing it in the rock espresso machine so yeah um these videos just show what london has to offer and yes enjoy so without further ado quite a long one guys but uh See what it's like sugar. Oh. It brings it out. I think it, uh, milk and sugar brings out flavours just a little bit more. Um, you're getting an experience you wouldn't be getting black. A well-rounded coffee, say. Is there... Um, it's a classic George Street blend, so I can see why it does well. It's amazing. Yeah, so thank you for watching that video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a like and um, add a comment. Just give us some little tips, uh, hints or anything. Um, just let you know, I've linked my uh, social media down below. So what I'm going to be doing is doing a lot more tastings every day just so I can pick up my knowledge and you're welcome to follow along with that on Instagram. Um, yes, so some improvements from last week. Very sorry about no video last week. The pubs were open, so I went to the pub instead. Um, not that much has changed since the week before. I've got the new, um, new displays behind me. Um, so yeah, for next week, we'll be reviewing the Darkest Roast from Kiss the Hippo in Richmond. So watch this space.